yeah, initial reaction is disappointment. Um, you know, I felt like this was a game for us to uh, right the ship a little bit, you know, uh, find some momentum in the cup and um, kind of get back to winning ways, even though we aren't in the league. But uh, that wasn't the case tonight. Got punished for, for a mistake. Uh, I couldn't reconcile that by the time the game ended. Um, no, not a not a ton for me to say. Like I said, uh, main sentiment is disappointment, especially in the locker room from from just about everybody. Ian, you know, I, uh, Robin said on Saturday about how the team moves together as a unit defensively, um, and how if anybody gets isolated, you know, bad things happen. I guess was it? Uh, how do you explain? You know, the RSL goal tonight, but then also maybe the response after. After that, it looked like you know they really didn't have too many chances, and I would maybe much better communication between everybody. Or I don't know. Yeah, I didn't feel. Um... I didn't feel that their goal really reflected anything that we were struggling with on the day and or uh, throughout this run of games. I felt that it was just a mistake and, and they took advantage of it. Um, I felt throughout the game that we limited them for the most part to, to very few. Uh, you know, I'm having trouble remembering really good chances. Uh, but I, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe after watching it back, it'll be different. But I, I felt that we were definitely creating better chances on the night. Um, it's not always the, you know, the end all. Yeah. Coach has been talking lately about kind of a lack of urgency to start matches the last couple of weeks. Um, did you did you think there was a heightened sense of urgency to start tonight? And is that at the level that you guys want? Uh, I did feel like we started the game better. I thought it was an improved sense of, uh, you know, everybody being alert and, and ready. Um, I don't think it's ever going to be at the level that we're satisfied with. I think that it can always be better, um, as with just about everything. Um, but I did feel like we got after him a little bit more, put him under a little bit more pressure. Um, I felt like we could have been better with the ball. Uh, you know, I, I feel when I look back at a game, it, the the turn, the unforced turnovers, unforced errors, careless turnovers are something that just I rack my brain over. You know, it's it's happened to me too of course you know I hold my hand up first but um you know that the the way you build rhythm is continuing to connect passes make them chase move the ball around the field move them around the field especially at altitude and turnovers just give them a give them an out and and they get a chance to sit on the ball and they get a chance to catch their breath and um I felt that that hurt us tonight Ethan, uh, two big Um, yeah, the tournaments are always a little bit different. They have a little bit different feel to them. Um, it's difficult. It's, it's kind of difficult to draw, you know, to draw conclusions or, or, or pointers or, or things that can help us going forward just because I felt like we did kind of want to approach it like a league game. We did want to come into it with the same intensity and not really change our, our approach. Um, at times you get rotated lineups, at times you change personnel and, and other teams do the same, but, um, I think at the end of the day, it's it's a win in advance situation. Um, you know, not that we didn't know that going in. I, obviously, that is very obvious to every team competing. But um, I think the League's Cup is going to be a little bit different of a beast. I think you know, obviously, the competition and the and the rivalry there with with Mexican teams, and um, you know, maybe the level a little bit too. So uh, you know, I think we're going to have to be in a, in a really good place going into that. In the past two matches, you've uh, been asked to play a lot of different rules. I think Salt Lake here, and uh, seen yourself get a few times up with the field, even centrally getting a shot off today. Uh, can you give us a little bit of that insight? What goes through your mind when you're being asked to go ahead and join the attack? Um, yeah, I, I enjoy the challenge. I've uh, I've asked to been asked to play quite a few different positions uh, under Robin, and um, you know, at times, at times it frustrates me because I. I feel like I, you know, hold myself to a really high standard, and I want to play each of those positions very, very well. And and I know at times that I'm not doing it perfectly because of maybe a uh, lack of experience in certain positions with, you know, body position and, and recovery angles and, um, you know, getting my feet right and things like that. But um, 
you know, it's a, it's a great um, kind of nudge of confidence from the staff that they put me in these positions and, and, and feel that I can succeed and help the team in those. And um, yeah, as far as the attacking goes, it's, it's exciting. It's, uh, you know, the, the best part of the game is scoring goals. You know, you probably don't want to hear that from a defender, but it's, uh, you know, that's, if I can help us on both ends of the pitch and, and, and that's going to help us win games, then yeah, I don't care how I do it. You know, it's, Happy to happy to help the team any way I can. You know, Andres has said that Derby games take on a life of their own. Um, I guess two losses within the past four days. Just, does it feel extra tough considering it was a cup game or an open cup game, um, and for, for the locker room in general? Um, and I guess what's it in your opinion? Knowing you've got two more games against them this year, what's it going to take? I guess to take the series back. Um, yeah, we've we've dug ourselves a, a little bit of a hole here. It's going to be difficult. Um, yeah, it definitely cuts a little deeper when it's a when it's a you know the team you dislike the most. Um, like I said, uh, tonight was an opportunity to kind of get back at them for Saturday. It was a nice quick turnaround. We were eager to get back at it, and um, yeah, it's. I mean, without talking very candidly and explicitly it's it uh makes you lose sleep at night i mean it's you don't like losing games in general to any team in this league but rsl is uh a team that a team that just eats at you a little bit more um and and it's been it's been interesting to learn from the supporters about just how much that means to them as well and 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 it, it it hurts us just that much more to 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 feel that for them and and to want to perform for them and um, I know at times it it looks like we can do more it, it looks like you know we can we can get better results for them but I hope that I hope that they're that they know that we're we're doing everything we can just as much as they would want to if they were on the pitch to get to get these results to compete to smash somebody to. I mean, my goodness, my yellow card tonight was so late and so bad. And if they had VIR, it could have been a red card probably. But you know, you're you're almost happy to leave something on RSL if they're if you're down in a game. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, my frustration is is reflected in my in my confidence. Right. Um, obviously, coming into the cup, you were always a challenge for the team. So take that on. But not only that, playing behind the leader and shutout team, playing behind somebody like the kid looks now. What have you seen from Illich as the guy who's taken the mantle to win most of these games? How do you think he's adapted to this team? Um, yeah, uh, it's it's you know Marco Marco joined us a little bit late. It's been great to get to know him. It's been great to see him um, in our environment, in our locker room, in our team setting uh, as a leader. As uh, you know, I think the goalkeeper always takes on a little bit more of a vocal leadership role, and um, it's not always easy when you come in and you have. The other goalkeeper playing most of the games to begin with, and then uh, getting tossed into cup matches, and um, you know I think he's done really well. I think he's handled that role very well, and um, has pushed Will in the right way. And um, I'm happy for him. I, I thought he was he was good tonight. He uh, did all he could, really. I don't think he can do much on the goal, and uh, and keeps us into the rest of the game.